Hello, this is Robert with CGS. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you our multi-join tool, which is part of our CGS Revit tools. In this model here, I've got a building. And what I want to do is I want to look at a section of it first. So I'm going to go to my section view. And so here's a section view. And if I zoom in here, we'll see that I've got some floors. I've got some structural framing. And I also have some walls. And they're overlapping. Okay, and I really want to join these up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this. And this is how I do it in Revit right now. So once I select this floor, I'm going to come up to the Modify Floors tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go to the Geometry panel, and I'm going to select Join. And I'm going to go ahead and select the two items I want to join. So I'm going to say, let's join this one right here with the wall here. And there you can see I've cut out the, the wall and the floor is in its place. Now we can do the same over here. So I'm going to say let's select the floor and then let's select the structural framing. Okay, I've joined those together, but I probably wanted it to go the other way around. So I'm going to escape here. And so I'm going to go ahead and select a element here. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to select switch join order. So I'm going to select this, so I'm going to select my structural framing first, and then my floor. And there we can see it's cut that out. Now if I look at this model, I've got a lot of these to do, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to a 3D view here. And we're going to do all of them at one time. So I'm going to just select my whole model here. So there I've selected it. I'm going to come up to the ribbon to the CGS Revit Tools tab. And in the Modify panel, I'm going to select Multi-Join. So the Multi-Join dialog box comes up. And I've got two areas here. I've got Join Instances first priority, and then I've got the second priority. So meaning this is going to be the cutting edge, and this is what I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to say, hang on, I want to take all the floors, and I want to cut out the walls. So I want to take out the portions of the walls. So this is the cutting edge. This is what I'm going to cut out. Down here at the bottom, there's two options. Join only if geometry overlaps. So if this wall and the floor don't actually touch or overlap, it's not going to do anything. Now if I uncheck that, and there was a little bit of a gap there, it would automatically join those. Okay, We're going to leave it checked. And we're also going to say override existing joints. So first thing we're going to do is floors and walls. So I'm going to go join. I'm going to go back up to the command again. So multi-join. This time I'm going to do structural framing. And I want to cut that into the floors. Okay, So I want the structural framing to cut out the floor. And I'm going to go join. And we're going to do it one more time. So I'm going to go multi-join. This time I'm going to go structural framing and walls. So if there's a wall coming up to the structural framing, I want you to cut off the wall there. And so I'm going to go join. Now I'm going to go back to my section view. As we can see here, the structural framing has cut through the floor. Also the walls are stopping as they hit the structural framing. And then also on the side here, you can see the floor is cutting through the wall. This concludes this short video on multi-join.